What's up guys, Joe from My Tech Jam here, and this video is going to be an updated guide on how to install Kodi 17 Krypton and the Exodus add-on on your Amazon Fire TV or Fire TV Stick. Before we get started guys, remember if you like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more Amazon Fire TV tips and tutorials. So the first thing we're going to need to do is scroll over to settings on our Fire TV. Then over to device. Then choose developer options. And turn ADB debugging on. And turn apps from unknown sources on. You'll get this pop-up, just click Turn On. Next, exit back into the Settings menu. Then scroll over to Applications. Then click on Applications to open it up. And turn Collect App Usage Data off. You'll get this pop-up, just click Turn Off. Next, we need to install ES File Explorer. To do this, go back to the home screen on your Fire TV, then scroll over to the left into the search section and type in ES File Explorer. Once you have that typed in, scroll down and hover over ES File Explorer and click on it. Then click on the ES File Explorer app. Then choose Download to install the app. It may also say Get if you've never installed the app before. Once it finishes installing, choose Open. The first time you open it, you'll get this pop-up. Just click the back button on your remote to close it out. Then you're going to want to click on the New button on the bottom of your screen. The best way to get over there is to go over onto the left side, scroll down to the bottom, and then move over to the right. When you make it over there, click on New. When the window opens up, leave the type as HTTP web, and in the path, type in HTTP colon slash slash Kodi.tv slash download. Once you get that typed in, click Next, and then choose OK. This will pull up the Kodi download page, so you're going to use your remote to scroll down the page to where it says Current Release Kodi version 17.1 Krypton, and then you want to select the ARM under the Android section. Once you click on it, it should start to download, but if it doesn't, after you click ARM, scroll down to the bottom right where it says More. Then click on that and choose Open in Browser. On the pop-up, you can choose to open with ES Downloader and just once. Once the download finishes, choose Open File, then choose Install, and then Install again. Kodi is now being installed onto your Amazon Fire TV Stick. Once it finishes installing, click Open. Kodi will then launch for the first time. It may take a few seconds, so be patient. Once Kodi opens, the first thing we need to do is click on the little gear icon to enter settings. Then scroll down and click on File Manager. Then choose Add Source. And click where it says None. And then you need to type in http colon slash slash fusion .tv -add .ag. Once you have that typed in, click OK. Then click in the section where it says enter a name for this media source, and you can just call it Fusion. Once you have that typed in, click OK, then click OK again, and then exit back to the Kodi main menu. Once you're back in the main menu, scroll down and click on Add-ons. Then click on the gear to enter add-on settings. And then on the right side, turn on unknown sources. You'll get this prompt, just click yes. Then go back one menu into the add-ons menu and click on this icon on the top left. Then choose install from zip file. Choose fusion, Kodi repos, English, and then scroll down and find the repository Exodus zip. Click on that. 
Once you see the pop-up that says the Exodus repository has been installed, click on Install from Repository. Then choose Exodus Repository, Video Add-ons, Exodus, and choose Install. Exodus is now being installed onto your Kodi build. Once the add-on is installed, you are good to go and you can watch free movies and TV. Going forward, when you open up Kodi, you just have to scroll down to Videos, Video Add-ons, and then you can open Exodus from right in there. The first time you open it, you may get this pop-up, just let the clock run out. Then from in here, you can browse all the movies and TV shows and watch whatever you want. In my experience, Exodus has pretty much any movie or TV show I can think of, so I definitely recommend it. One side note, if you want to change the view in Exodus, click to the left with your remote and change view type to wall. Also, when you first go back into your home menu on your Amazon Fire TV, Kodi will not be listed in the Recents menu. If you want it to appear, scroll down to Your Apps and Games. Go all the way over to the right. Click See All. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, Kodi should be there. If you open it from here once, it will then appear in the Recents menu going forward. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll help you out as much as I can. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.